there lovelies welcome back to another tutorial I'm Stephanie from oh you're lovely and this one is a doozy as in it's gonna take me a really long time to film it all but we'll speed up a ton of it so you won't be watching it for very long but it's a very good chance it's gonna be a two possibly three day tutorial for me wonder what we're getting ourselves into let's roll the intro and I will explain Welcome back to another tutorial. This is going to be a bigger one. This is going to be a doozy and it is another arch tutorial. However, this time we are not doing a bundle. We are not doing uh, floral foam or chicken wire. You know what we're going to use? We're going to use a pool noodle. I'm super, super excited about this. I actually think I'm going to bring the arch into the studio um, just for ease of working on it, kind of checking, making sure everything's looking good. We'll, we'll make that decision in a minute. Um, I'm really excited about this one. And depending on, I've got a ton of greenery. I have 50 flowers. Let's see how massive we can make this, shall we? The supplies needed for this tutorial is some sort of arch. I feel like the pool noodle one will work really well with this rounded arch. I'm sure there's other arches though that you could make this work just fine. Basically, even the one that we did the last time with the hexagon, but then just cutting your pool noodle to the size that you want to slide it in. Um, speaking of which, pool noodles. I have two of them. I don't know that I'm gonna use both. I think it's gonna depend on how much greenery I, can, I need to use. This is gonna be a very greenery heavy one. Um, even though this noodle isn't that big, it takes up a lot of space, so we have to do a lot of filler. So uh, let's break down the, first I have 50 flowers, lovely, kind of a more fall-ish color story, I would say. Uh, this actual assortment was um, a subscription box, it's the one that just went out for August. We do offer three different types of subscription boxes, they go out each month, um, and this one happens to be the dyed assortment subscription box so if you're interested in that I'll make sure to include a link to the subscription boxes after saying subscription boxes over and over and over again it gets hard it's like a tongue twister let me grab all the greenery it's over over there give me two seconds I'll be right back okay here's the greenery let's break this down shall we am I gonna use all of this I have no idea it was one of those better safe than sorry we just have as, as much as possible. Okay, so I have our Italian Ruscus. Like, this is, oh God, I love this greenery so much. It's, um, it's a huge fan favorite and something I use in pretty much everything I do. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the, these are the 14 inch. Then we have the Seeded Eucalyptus. We also use this greenery in our DIY bridal kits. So if you get one of those and you wanna use more similar greenery, that's what it is. So here's the seed of eucalyptus. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I'm just gonna pop those down. And then we've gotta prep all of this. And that's what's gonna take me a really long time. And then we have the ficus. Now this is a good affordable filler. This is what we're gonna start our base off of. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve stems of that. And we're gonna cut these all up and we're going to cut up all of the other ones as well. So let's get to prepping. I probably won't film all of the prepping because it's gonna take a while, so I think I'm just gonna show you the individual things that I'm gonna do for prepping, and then we'll get to building! But a lot, a lot of prepping. 
All right, so to prep the greenery, I got a candle over there. That's not helpful right now. With the ficus, the first thing that we're gonna do, the ficus comes in three separate sections. So easiest thing to do first is to clip the two side sections. And then we've got this longer stem. Now I think what I'm gonna do is half of them, I'm gonna cut it or snip it in half and the other half I'm just gonna leave as is. So where I want to snap that in half so you see there's a color shift from here to like right here. This gets a little bit darker. So that's where I'm gonna do my cutoff. So we've got that, and then we've got that. So half of them I'm going to cut that way. And then later on, if I decide, hi guys, if I decide that those pieces are too long, we can always cut them. But instead of cutting all of them, first and then going, man, I wish I had a couple longer pieces. We're gonna keep a couple longer pieces. So that's how we're gonna prep the ficus. That one's pretty easy. Then the Italian ruscus. These are all individually, we have like little individual stems. I'm gonna slide everything up. And then snap this. And then we can adjust those if needed. The other nice thing about the Italian Ruscus is if you wanted to individually stem these, I'm not gonna, but if you wanted to, you absolutely could. And I might do it for a couple pieces, but for the most part, I'm gonna leave them in uh, singular stems. But to stem these individually, this goes all the way straight through. So you can take a wire Take your greenery, slide and fold, and then take a needle nose pliers I gotta make sure of Vikram. I'm turning you off. I don't need you to burn me today. Any day for that matter. And then we're just going to pinch. Pinch it as well as we can. I don't want that overlapping like that, so I'm gonna put that back in place. And there you go. Individually stemmed if you wanted to, to just add single pieces prepped through, or like popped throughout. But like I said, for the most of this, I'm gonna just keep it as their normal individual stems. And I don't think, I'm going to hold back two of these bunches. I'm just gonna set them aside. I'm not going to cut those for now. I think we're going to try to get by with five Italian ruscuses. Ruscuses. All right, let me show you the last greenery. The seeded eucalyptus, same thing. I'm just going to scoot things up for most of these. Cut their stems individually. And there you go. Similar to the Italian ruscus. If you wanted these to be individually stemmed up, you absolutely can. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You can't make me. So I'm gonna get to prepping all this stuff and I will be back in just a minute. All right, so the greenery is all prepped and set to the side. I actually decided to only use five of the Italian ruscus and five of the seeded eucalyptus. We'll see if that's a good decision or not. But worst case, I just have to prop a couple more stems to each if we need them. So now we're gonna take our pool noodle and a knife. Could use the scissors otherwise too. And we're just going to cut one side of it so that we can slide this around our arch. Of the arch. We'll see how far that gets us. If we have leftovers, I will add another balancing on the other side. And if not, then we know it would be double what I just did 
in order to finish off the piece. This is gonna be amazing, you guys. I'm so stinking excited. Now we also have reference. I'm gonna probably bring this up every once in a while to make sure, but we have reference of, I really am not super concerned about the back. You could also, I don't know, spray paint this. I don't know if spray paint will eat away at the pool noodle or not. So you could spray paint it a little bit more of a neutral color. Um, I have a very bright lime green one. So I'm gonna kind of pay attention to the um, opening, but I'm not overly concerned. Worst case is I just glue some leaves onto the back. I really am more focused on um, a little bit over from the opening and a little bit up to the top. So I take that off because otherwise I'm not going up and down a ladder to create this. That doesn't make any sense for any of you guys either. You wouldn't have the arch in the middle of your room while you're working on it. So let's let's give this a go and see what we learn as we do it. I like that it kept a little bit of the shape when I took it down. I'm gonna hope I can keep that a little bit just so I have a little bit of a point of reference. And then I'm gonna work on it with my opening at the bottom. We'll see if that works. And again, we're gonna learn together because I've never done this. So I'm gonna bring you on down. We're going to start in sections. Let me just um, kind of talk about the process. Oh my gosh, why is my thing blowing up? Sorry guys. So we're going to start with the ficus because that is our most affordable greenery and that's going to take up the um, base basically. That's going to make our entire base and that is similar to what we've done in other arch tutorials um, or bigger pieces. You want to start with a lower affordable um, type of greenery that you can get a ton of that takes up a decent amount of space and that's what ficus will do for us. Then I'm going to go in with the seeded eucalyptus and round it off with the Italian ruscus um, and then flowers go in last. That is the plan. We will see if I stick to it. And we're just using the pool noodle like we would floral foam. So we're sticking everything into the floral foam or into the pool noodle. All right, guys, let's jump into it. All right, so I've set it up on the arch just to kind of get a visual. I'm gonna go on this side. And it's definitely heavier on that side than up here. And I think, I think that's where I started and this is where I ended. So you can definitely still see some of the pool noodles poking through. And if you can't, I can when I'm up close to it. The nice thing about the ficus is a lot of them are wired as well. So you can kind of adjust and move some of the um, leaves to kind of cover other areas that might not be covered like you would want. So I'm going to take this off 
And I'm going to work on filling up this top a little bit more. I do only have three more of the long pieces of ficus. Um, definitely don't need the long ones. You want shorter stems. So I'm gonna cut these up so I have six more pieces that I can use to fill that up. Just remember we have other greenery, so it's not the end of the world, but doesn't this look even nice just as is? You could totally get away with just using ficus for something like this. Super lush and full and lovely. But as I can tell already, 12 stems, one pool noodle. So if you're going to do two of them, 24 ficus. And you should be relatively good to go. Okay, um, I'm gonna take this down and finish filling this out. All right, I have put on the, where am I? There I am. I put on the seeded eucalyptus. Now I did have, I counted it out. It's eight individual stems per one full bush, I guess. It's the best way to describe it. So I have not one, but two sets of eight stems still. Um, I'm just gonna hold back on those once we put in the flowers. If we find some holes that we wanna fill in or maybe we wanna fill in the back, um, we could do that. It's definitely building up. The one thing I did want to note that I didn't mention earlier, I don't believe, is once I got to a certain point, I switched the directions of the greenery. So most of it is going this way, but then right around this area is when we switched it to start going the opposite direction. Um, there's not nearly as much of a, whoops, not nearly as much of a like gap in between. But sometimes there's a gap in between those two and that's normally where I'll make sure to put in some sort of flower to kind of um, bridge everything together. It's not really, I don't, I don't see a glaring change of direction that's like, oh, I gotta put something in there. Um, I'm definitely still seeing some of the lime green cool noodle, but I think using green works in our benefit for this. It's almost like putting moss down. That's the other thing you could do is put moss all on the back side if you wanted to, if you don't want to, if you want to cover it in some way. There's lots of different options um, if you're concerned about what the back is going to look like. All right, one more set of greenery to go. This is so full. Um, I don't know that you need to go nearly as much greenery, which is actually kind of exciting. Um, but just to keep record so far, we had 12 of the ficus and we had just three of the seeded eucalyptus, which tells me that most likely the Italian ruscus, I'm probably gonna need only about three of those as well. But we'll see, maybe I'll add more of those. Those are smaller, thinner, long pieces. So I might be needing more of those to really fill in the space and make it pop. Okay, I think that's it for right now. We're gonna bring it back down again, keep adding greenery, um, and again, we're gonna set these to the side to be able to fill in at the end if needed. All right, let's do this.
All right, lovelies, we're so close to being done. So all of the greenery is in place. I did use all of the Italian Ruscus, so that was five of the 14 inch, if you're keeping track, five of the 14 inch Italian Ruscus. I should probably write this down so I can put it in the description later. <laughs> Will I? No. All right, so here are the flowers. We're going to fill it in. Again, there's 50 of these flowers. I might throw in some larger all cream flowers as well if I feel like we need to fill in some extra space and because most of these flowers are two and a half i think they're all two and a half inch flowers i don't think i have a three inch in here so they're not they're that middle ground flower which is what i use the most of and i use a few smaller flowers and a few larger flowers i won't be using any smaller ones for this one but we might throw in some five inch flowers maybe we have some from the last launch that are so stinking pretty and they work really well in a piece like this because I think from film it might not look that big, but it's it's fairly large. So one of these five inch flowers is gonna look pretty normal sized, where these guys are gonna look pretty small in this piece. So yeah, just looking at that right now, I'm gonna grab a couple of those um, new five inch flowers that we just introduced, I think about a month ago, if I'm right, in my timeline from when I'm filming this. I don't know, I could be wrong. But there's a whole bunch of five inch flowers if you didn't know. So let's grab a couple of those. I'm going to just mix and match. They'll all be in cream though, so that'll be the kind of continuity for the larger flowers, that they're all the same color. But they're gonna be a little bit different shapes and things like that. So I'm gonna wire those up and then we'll get to building the rest of this. I'm just debating. You know what, I'm gonna keep it the way we're doing it. So on the table and then putting it up just to see how it looks. The reason being is most likely, if you're doing this for an event, you probably don't have the arch built or on hand at the time. You just have the measurements. So you would be working on it on a table, most likely, um, and then making some adjustments closer to the day of or the day of the event. So let's, let's keep doing the way we're doing it. No cheating for me. It would be easier to stem them all up though on the arch. So if you have that, I definitely recommend doing that, especially for the flower part. The greenery, not so much. The greenery is pretty self-explanatory and there's not a lot of kind of, as long as you know where your front and your back is, you're pretty set on making that nice and full and covered. The flowers though, with the arch and things like that, there's a little bit more movement that's happening. So with that said, that was a, that was a mouthful. Let's get to it.
done. We did actually not use all of the flowers, so I actually wrote it down, but um, there's nine of the extra large four and a half, five inch flowers sprinkled throughout. That definitely helped fill in the gaps and not have to use as many of the other flowers. I actually have 15 left, so I'm not gonna do it. But if it were me and I had that leftover material, because I have some, um, I still have a decent amount of the seeded eucalyptus. I have those two extra pieces of the um, Italian ruscus that I set aside that I didn't even use. I would probably take a pool noodle, cut it in half, and put it on the other side of the arch so that we have some little bit of balance on there. Um, so it's definitely possible with all of the materials. I would probably need a little bit more ficus. Since we used 12 to fill it, six, ideally for a half size and probably even less than that just because we have so much of the seeded eucalyptus left so you could probably just do like four of the ficus so you have it so they're playing with each other in terms of there's some matching going on but you could use less ficus and more of the seeded eucalyptus or order less of the seeded you know what i mean mix and match it up definitely could make another one i'm not gonna today because it's hot and um I have no place for this arch, <laughs> but it worked. Here is the one thing I will say about using a pool noodle for this kind of application. Your wires need to be short. If they get too long, you start to have crisscrossing happening within the tube itself, and then it's hard to get it to sit on the arch. So you could go in and clip those off. You could also probably put just a teeny tiny dab of glue on each one as you're putting it in if you'd like. I've had one piece fall out, which I feel is pretty normal. So I just slid that back in in some sort of spot and was like, all right, that's fine. Uh, flowers are great. The other thing too is because they're on wires, you can adjust the head of the flower, so to speak, to face out or away or wherever you want it to go. I am really happy with how this turned out. Super, super happy. I hope you are as well. And I hope it inspires you to go on and make something with a pool noodle. Why not? We have done it a couple other times with a pool noodle, in particular an acrylic sign. I think that was right here on YouTube. If not, it was over on Facebook. I can't remember. I do tutorials all over the place. All right, you guys, if you're loving this channel, can't get enough, want to know the next time we go and upload a tutorial, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies, greenery, subscription boxes. We have those too. Go to oyourlovely.com. But before you do, let me give you something. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. One thing to note, it doesn't work on subscription boxes. Sorry about that. It is what it is. All right, you guys, make sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, leave us a comment down below whatever you want to talk about. That would be lovely. If you have any questions, I answer those as soon as possible, but I'll be honest, I'm a pretty, I, um, I tend to do them in batches. So sometimes I won't respond back for a couple of weeks. So bear with me on that one. I'm doing the best I can. Um, sometimes y'all flood me with questions that I'm just, I got, I got to just do bust them all out at once. So, um, I think that's it. It is. I'll see you guys next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.